I will murder you. 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 It's August 11th, 2022 in Gwinnett County, Georgia. 27-year-old Antonetta Stevens mercilessly beats 30-year-old Ashley Bocanegra in the street behind the Preston Hills at Mill Creek apartment complex. She screams threats at her, punches her in the face, and throws her body against the asphalt. As Bocanegra begs Stevens to stop, 17-year-old Janine Gonzalez records the assault on a cell phone. The footage of the fight is too graphic to put on screen. But if you listen, you can hear the threats and other evidence investigators gathered from the video. Stop, you're so lucky my nails is hurting because I was really do worse to you right now. I will do worse to you. I will do worse to you. I will do worse to you. That's why he was trying to protect you, but now he don't care to get, for you to get your ass beat. The fight is over a man named Daniel Gonzalez, who's allegedly carrying out a relationship with both Stevens and Bocanegra. Janine Gonzalez, his younger sister, is good friends with Stevens. Stevens and Bocanegra are both mothers to young boys. At the time of the attack, Bocanegra's son is seven years old. Stevens' sons are three and nine. Stevens knows Bocanegra as her fiancé's manager at Floor & Decor, where he works overnight shifts. Wanna get f***ed up? Get off me. Get off my hair, I'ma f*** you up. Let me go then. Get off me. Say hi to Daniel. Get off me. Say hi to Daniel. Get the f*** off you me. You know he said I could come out here and f*** you uh, up, right? Okay, good. You know that, right? Uh-huh. He's in the house with our son. Okay, well. He so said I could f*** you up. Yep, this is what we do. If I get mad and he knows uh -huh. I'm leaving, he feels sad. He says, I'll let you f*** her up. That's what I'm doing. F*** you up. All right. Tell me everything. Hey, you got it. Get off. Nope. Get no, off. you ain't got sh You don't get to say something. You don't get to be in front of my man, right? Right, you his manager. I'm getting you fired. So you're gonna see in this video, of course, as they as they have already described, women fighting over a man who is seeing more than one woman. I don't know how many stories we have to see of women fighting over some man and then ended up in jail or killing someone or doing the the most, but it makes no sense to be fighting over a guy. Either he wants you or he doesn't. But of course. You know, there's not enough to go around and this must be a top-notch quality guy. But outside of that, more so than them jumping and attacking this girl, this is the the girlfriend that he lives with and the, the guy's sister attacking the other girl. The guy's sister is what I would say is textbook definition of a sociopath. Now, I am not a psychologist, I am not an expert, but when you see her sit down to do her interrogation, you're gonna be in shock at how casual this all is. This is just normal things that people do and it's funny and ha ha and kiki and all of these other things. But what, you, what, what really blows my mind is that the, they do these types of things and think that there's going to be no consequences and that, you know, they're just going to ride off into the sunset and, you know, the cops aren't going to get involved. They're not going to hurt anybody. They're just going to go about their business. But this is what you see. They just normalize the craziness when it comes to these situations. And clearly mental illness is normalized. That's bias. Oh, okay, that's a conflict that. of interest. You I'm showing this to the job. Okay. You're f***ing my while he's on the clock. Oh. My going there trying to ruin his family. He has uh -huh. a whole son. You're mad for him? Okay. Get off. Wow. Get off. Get off. Get the f*** off me. Does that? Can I tell you? Get the f*** off me. Yeah. Oh, you see her? Oh, wait, there's a foot. During, During We don't need that. Well, now we got a clearer picture of the foot. <laughs> but did you see? She was directing the other girl to fight her. She says, don't stop until I tell you. So this is like, you know, this is conspiracy at this point. She is like the ringleader commanding her to keep fighting. Now I couldn't, I couldn't tell who is who, like, is it the sister that's telling the girlfriend to just keep beating up the, the other girl? Or is it the girlfriend telling the sister to keep beating up the other girl? It's hard to tell, but I, it's, I believe based on the interrogation that it is actually the girlfriend that is telling, I mean, sorry, the sister is telling the girlfriend to keep going. Okay. It's gotten complicated. The fight, Stevens instructs Gonzalez to steal Bocanegra's phone. They take it back to the apartment where they plan to call Bocanegra's fiance to tell him about her affair with Daniel Gonzalez. 
Got my face. All right, get my phone. Nope, you're not getting it. Get my phone. You're jumping both of us for your phone. Get my phone. We're, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Get my phone. No. Boca Negra follows her assailants up to the apartment to retrieve her phone. Daniel Gonzalez, who was allegedly sleeping in the apartment during the attack, hears the verbal altercation between the women at his door and gives Boca Negra's phone back to her. According to the Gonzalez siblings, Boca Negra appears badly beaten. She goes to a local hospital to treat the injury she sustained from Stevens. Several passersby witness the attack. One person calls the Gwinnett County Police. Authorities go to Stevens' apartment that afternoon to ask what happened. Can they come out? The females that are in there? The, the females out there are fighting. Yeah. This girl, she came to my house. She's been sleeping with my fiance. Mm. She works over there. He, she's his manager, and she keeps on forcing him to have sex with her after he's been cut it off or she's going to fire him. And we Wait, she forces him to have sex with her? Girl, you have to be the dumbest woman on earth that, oh, listen, if I don't have sex with her, she, I'm going to get fired. And, and she's just forcing me, but I don't want to do it, babe. It's, it's, it's not my fault. It's, I, it's, it, it, I promise you, it's, it's not what I want to do. We ended up fighting right there because she approached my home. This is my home. She lives all the way over there. Okay, is everybody in the house right now? Oh, just me. I'm the only one that fought. Just me. The girl she left. Is your sister involved? Oh, yeah. My sister? Yeah, is she? No, she. that's my sister-in-law. She is she was involved? There. She was there. Are you two arguing? Are you guys no, we're not arguing. Okay, okay, so let's go inside. The female that he's been sleeping with. Him? Yes, my okay. fiance. I've known him for five years. Okay. We moved here together from up north. He has work. He's worked. He works at Florida Decor. He's been sleeping with his manager. And that's who was here. Yes. Okay. And I've been feeling it for some time now. Okay. Yesterday, I'm walking to Quick Trip. I see them walking together. And you're a woman. You know our intuition. I know that's the girl. Mm -hmm. I seen her. We argued yesterday. He broke it up. It was fine. This morning now, she's calling, calling, text him, text him, text him, saying that she's gonna be coming here. I waited for her. Stevens admits to waiting outside the apartment complex for Boca Negra to arrive, but she conveniently leaves out one crucial detail. Stevens lured Boca Negra to the apartment by posing as Daniel Gonzalez in a series of text messages. Where's she at? That makes it so much worse because you can't say it was like you were defending yourself or spur of the moment. And these idiots were dumb enough to film it, okay? So we have the, the video evidence. And then they lured her to the apartment. She didn't just come over there like you claim. And the other mistake they're making is they're talking to the cops. Like they think that like by explaining themselves to the cops that, that somehow it's gonna make everything okay. Look, when cops come to you, even if you've done wrong, you don't need to answer any questions. You don't need to speak. They're just hoping, people think that they can explain their way out of something or, you know, they're not thinking about the legal process. They just want to immediately like explain in their side and show that they were right for the things that they've done. And they don't think of, you know, what are the consequences by telling the police all of this, let alone the filming and the, oh, Dumb as a rock. She's walking by the park. Hold the phone now. By the what? By the pool? Oh. All right, bro. Where are we going? Look at her right there. Right there. Oh, guess what? That was me. You know who did by that evening, yeah. Winnet County yeah. Police receive yeah. a call from yeah. the hospital where Boca Negra checked in. She needs to be transported to a different hospital for surgery. Unfortunately, her injuries are too severe. The 30-year-old New York native and mother to a 7-year-old boy dies before they can operate. Upon receiving the news of Boca Negra's untimely death, Gwinnett County detectives make their way to the Preston Hills at Mill Creek apartment complex. They're looking for Stevens and Gonzalez. I know, that there was the girls that were walking. They went to Quick Trip. Hey. Hi. I'm Detective Carter with Gwinnett County Police. Are you? Yes. Your internet? Yes, 
Hey, this is Detective Poppy, or Sergeant Poppy. Hi, nice to meet you. We Hello. know that there was like an incident yeah. that happened earlier today. Mm -hmm. Has anyone called you about it since? No. Is somebody supposed to? Well, we just got another call about it. So I guess okay. the girl went to the hospital okay. and she died. She died? She's dead. So, but we know that there was like an altercation that happened beforehand. Yeah, it was mutual and she came here. Yeah, we understand that. Yeah. So, but we, because I of it. I wasn't going to kill anybody. Yeah. I'm not that person. I get it. Yeah. But because of that, we. Can you imagine the shock? Like, you know, you think you're just going to fight and you're going to put a beat down on somebody, but they don't think about the consequences that you could kill somebody, which is what you've done. And they're just being casual at the door. Like your life is for, it's over. Like. This is the moment that your life has completely changed. No longer in the comfort of a home, no longer is going to see your children, no longer, you know, where you can just live your best life. And the thing is, you did all this fighting for this man. He's going to be out of jail. Do you think he's going to be just sitting around waiting for you or just being faithful because you're that woman for him? No, he already wasn't. He's going to be out, you know, and move on with his life with someone else while you are spending decades behind bars have to kind of talk to you guys and get a more formal statement true okay um wow i'm so sorry about that um yeah that was not my intention um i've been mentally going through a lot mm -hmm. um i have bipolar depression and i'm just going through a lot right now and you know i came here from up north um with my fiance that's him hey i came here with my fiance Okay. Yeah, um, so I came here. Are you here. the sister? The yeah, sister, okay. Sister. Um, uh -huh. um, I came here with my fiance um, to start a new life, buy a house, everything like that, and I never expected him to basically cheat on oh. me with someone at the workplace. Yes. You know what I'm Let's saying? So. Let him cheat, like, or leave. You don't go like a hood rat hyena and start putting hands on people. You're a grown woman, you're a mother like you don't think of, they don't prioritize their children she has two children don't care what happens just like you know as long as i can show off and show this girl that i'm his woman and don't you sleep with him no more why isn't she mad at him why if beating down another girl is going to stop your man from sleeping with her or sleeping with another woman clearly the problem is with your relationship or the man you're with but or clearly you that you think that this was okay to go out and fight this other woman i wish i would fight another woman over a man no what y'all can go together y'all can go right off into the sunset together bye bye and put my life in danger? Absolutely not. We would like to get like a formal statement, so we're gonna ask that you come up to our headquarters and talk to us. It's just right up the street. Okay. okay. All right. I hear um, kids. Is there really someone else here? That yeah. can, mm -hmm. There's someone here with them? Yeah. Okay. Once Stevens and Gonzalez arrive, <laughs> the women are placed in separate interrogation rooms where they wait for Detective Araya and Detective Carter. Just go through basically, since I wasn't there, and I'm, I'm playing catch up basically. So what okay. happened? So like, let me start to where it leaded. Mm -hmm. Okay. That way. Oh. Okay. So, like, since I've been down here, they they haven't been on good terms. So you know, arguments back to back. So like, we just came back from Florida, like not too long ago, from her mom's wedding, mm -hmm. and we left on bad terms with everybody. Cause my brother got into a you know incident with her stepdad. So ever since that happened and we left Florida, it's just been rocky, rockier. It's just been worse than arguments. And so, yeah. Sorry, I just cursed. You're fine, girl. Okay. Yeah. You, I fucked so, up earlier. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's just been worse, sir. What is so funny? What like the this is hilarious. Like she is going to be laughing and smiling through this entire thing, and the things that they that she comes up talks about and comes up with, it, it's it it's very very few times do you get to see a true psychopath, a sociopath. I don't even know what she should be diagnosed as. I I mean I just put it all into that category, where she has zero conscience. Like everything is just funny and some people say well some people are nervous and they laugh not through this i'm sorry and not the entire time so like you know they're arguing or whatever so 
my brother, him being a man, cheats. Like always, you know, he's feeling less than he thinks it's okay to cheat, so, you know. He tells me, so, he tells me who is he cheating with and stuff. Now, me and my stepsister, I mean, not my stepsister, my sister-in-law, we're yeah. very close, like, so close, like, you understand. Like, she's more of a sister to me than my brother's a brother to me, you know? Okay. Yeah. Very so, much. like, we're very close. Yeah. So, once he told me, <laughs> I was just like, ooh, I just to tell her. <laughs> <laughs> it's girl code. Yes, yeah, right? right? So, especially when, right after he told her, after he told me what he, what he was doing, he wanted to do it with her. So I was just like, mm-mm, I'm about to tell her. Two days prior before this day, um, we were just chilling. She was working, and Daniel did something to her to make her upset. So we were talking or whatever. And I was just like, oh, I forgot to tell you. No, I didn't forget, mm-hmm. but I still, you know. So I was like, um, tell her what happened. He explained what she did or whatever. She was like, oh, really? She's upset, whatever. I was like, don't tell him that's going to be, because he's going to be mad at me. Right. Okay, so, after that, um, he explained how the girl looked to me, though. And, you know, curly hair, Puerto Rican, skinny girl. So, I was like, all right. So, then I explained it to Janetta. So, the next day after that, we went to the store. Last night. Mm-hmm. Last night. We went to the store last night, and we were walking to Crip Trip. Quick trip is right there, you know. I don't so, know if I got walking earlier. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we walked to Quick Trip. What is funny? There's nothing funny. You are snitching on yourself. You are literally snitching, self snitching. And, <laughs> and she's given every single detail. It's like, I, I'm not, like, obviously, she's not working with full mental capacity. Or she just doesn't care. You're at a police station. These aren't your friends that you're explaining like a funny movie to and, you know, girl talk. But she seems to think, mm, yeah, let me just tell, confess all of these details. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'll just walk right up out of here. As we're walking a Crip Trip, the both of them are walking together from Crip Trip. So they're just now leaving and we're just now coming. So internet is like... Is that Daniel walking? So now she runs to him like, who is this? So he's like, oh, it's my work or whatever, whatever. Mind you, before we walked the Kirk trip, we asked him, when you go on your break, can you take us to the store? He said he couldn't leave on his break. So when we saw them walking, it was like, you just said you couldn't leave on your break. Now you walk with her to the store? The girl Gonzalez describes seeing with her brother was Ashley Bocanegra. Daniel Gonzalez also confirms this timeline to investigators. So, after that, she's kicking Daniel or whatever. She don't want to live with him no more. It's either he going to leave or she's going to leave. And, you know, she got to leave with the kids and everything. So, it would make sense if he just left. So, he's getting kicked out or whatever. And then, I guess, I guess she was coming to see him. He was getting kicked out. I don't, I don't know. I was in those messages. I'm not sure what was that. But I guess she was coming to see him because he was getting kicked out. And it's not as loud messages. So she decides, like, yeah, now she's about to come see you. Now I'm about to beat her up because I just, you you just saved me from her the other day. No, you know, that's how it was. So she's coming. So it's and me, we go to, we go. And she comes to the house, you know, big fight big fight so so she's lying right there saying that she was going to come to the house and that daniel or i guess had messaged her but no they were the ones that had messaged her to come over like they were um the guy uh, after the fight um we took her from we were going to call her husband to let her know that you know it's just, it's or Gonzalez is laughing and smiling throughout her recounting of the story. She doesn't seem to understand the gravity of the situation she's in. If she does understand, it appears she doesn't care. Oh, okay, so we close the door. She starts banging on the door like crazy. Okay. Didn't know we got her phone. She wants her phone back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
So then I gave her her phone back. And then, I don't know what the hell happened after that. Oh, she gave her her phone back. Literally, like, she left right after. I, I don't know what, I don't know how she left. Like, I wasn't watching after that. Because my brother was mad as hell. And, uh, you know, he don't want me in the business. I was already in it too much. Like, he's like, oh my ass. So I'm just like, okay. So I don't know what happened after she left, but literally right after she left, a third party called the police. They came, you know, made a report. And then after that, it was over or whatever. And then, just know you guys came. And yeah, that's, that's all I know. When you guys uh, fought, how long did that fight last? Uh, three two minutes. Okay. Yeah, it was it was early. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, have you ever been in fights before? Me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You have? Oh. Okay. You seem kind of athletic. You, you play sports when you're in school. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do I really look athletic? Yeah, you look athletic. Yeah. Oh my gosh, she's dumb. She's dumb as a bag of rocks. She's like. Does she think he's like flirting with her? Oh, do I really look athletic? Like they're gassing you up to be friendly so you could keep talking, you idiot. Got some some shoulders on you. <laughs> Why would you do that? Yeah. You don't know if I just care about these shoulders. While Gonzalez is laughing and joking, Steven's time in the interrogation strikes a different tone. She immediately requests a lawyer. I will say that, you know, I don't go out looking to harm anybody. Um, Is it me or does she sound like Nicki Minaj? That's not my intention. I do feel, you know, very remorseful about anything that has happened with that that young lady. Um, I'll also say that, you know, it wasn't my intention to even get into an altercation with her today. Um, she came over to my place of residence looking for my fiance, we argued, I was hit, we fought. Lies, you lured her over there and you attacked her first. But of course, they're too stupid to realize that there's evidence they actually had, they incriminated themselves with their own evidence. If they didn't have a video of it, if they didn't have the thing where they lured her over there, they could probably say, oh, she came and attacked me first, but you can't, you can't say that now because it was clearly planned. You guys conspired to lure this girl over there to physically attack her. Um, and let me just say this, based on the cell phone f- video footage, you can see it's like they can't say, oh, we wanted to talk and then things got out of hand because she grabbed me or whatever. As soon as they saw her on site, she started doing that little ghetto hop skip when you're going to go fight somebody. And then, you know, you got your hands like that and that, that ghetto hop and just started attacking her. And then it's two on one. I feel really bad, but you know, I really, I'm, I don't know. I'm just, you know, it's just, it's just too much. Okay. You okay? No, I'm not, I'm just, you know, I have kids, I, I don't, I, I don't know how to feel, man. Oh, so now you have kids. Now you care about the welfare of your kids. When you, you know, when you were fighting her over this man, that's such a prize. None of that matter. And this is what a lot of these young women, these young, young mothers, you know, they, it's just all fun and games, all just, you know, fighting over a guy and getting pregnant and doing the most, but there are real life consequences. And they just think this stuff is cute. I mean, it's glorified all on social media, on on different shows, reality shows, like just fighting and everything's going to be fine. But in real life, that's not how it works. I've been going through too much. 17-year-old Gonzalez is willing to share much more of what happened with investigators. So tell, tell us about that, like how did that happen? It was very vivid. She I know she, it, it happened so bad, you know, fights yeah. are just like a blur when it happens, yeah. but... Where was she, I know you said, you, you said earlier she came looking for him. 
she she came because he was moving he was getting kicked out and she wanted to be a little writer mm-hmm. when she knew she was subject and she got her husband at home I'm like, girl I know she's breaking up a happy home but where was she mm-hmm. at like no she has a husband as well That's yeah no but where was she at um what do you mean you said she came and looked for him where was she at how did y'all how did y'all make contact with her through messages. Where did you meet up? She was she was in our complex. I guess she lives like right near us. Look at her right there, right there. Look, that's why I bet. That was me. You know who it is. Yeah. Like I think like there's like two sides of the complex. Like, you know that hill? Yeah. It goes around and like when it goes up and around, there's another complex that looks just like the same. Mm-hmm. So did she knock on the door at first, or you guys just saw her outside? Outside. She didn't, she didn't knock. She didn't get the chance to. Okay. Cause like, oh yeah, you got this bitch coming. I'm about to be her own. So yeah. Did you guys start yelling at her before you guys approached her, or how that go down? Yeah. There was the intention. Like she's coming over here. We're gonna beat her. We're gonna beat her up. Like you, you can't now say what well, we were talking. Like this is, this is a gold mine, a a treasure trove for the police. There, this is just unbelievable but that a person would snitch on themselves this bad yeah tell us about that it wasn't really all uh, yeah it was just like yeah and you can't see my and then it was just fine up there she knew what it was because she she got ready to you know and then it was just fighting who was fighting um the girl today everybody no girl you ain't getting on there no like, yeah of course you did. I know you did. Just, just, just a little bit. You got that's because just, that, like you said, that's your homegirl. Yeah, that's, that's. You see how the cop is like trying to imitate her voice. Girl, you ain't getting nothing. Girl, what, what? You, you didn't do that. That's her way of getting her to confess to more, to, to her doing more. But she's making it sound friendly and kind of come down on her level. And a lot of people don't think, oh, that's this doesn't count as a confession. I'm just talking to them. No, everything you say counts against you in the court of law. Yeah. Tell me about that. How that? Happened. I didn't. I didn't go. I didn't go crazy though, cause she's small as hell. Like mm-hmm. you're enough already. I don't need to be punching her, dragging her. I don't need to do all of that. I'm good. Like in the beginning, she got on the floor, and I kind of like just a little bit, just a little bit. And then, and then I, and then I stopped. I was just like, it's hard. The adrenaline's going, you know. You gotta yeah, go. I was just like, okay, let me stop. And then they're just fighting. And yeah, yeah just just a little, just a little hit. So I didn't really fight yeah. her. That that's just crazy. What made it stop? Oh, uh, I don't know. Is it? I don't know. That's a weird question. I, I never know. Like, like, was she like was she saying anything or Ashley? I mean, cause she was, she was just. I never. I never. Out of all fights I've been in, I never saw somebody talk during a fight. Like, why are you gonna be up talking? Mm-hmm. I never, never met somebody that. Ever what was she that. saying? She was just like she was just you know talking. Oh, you're good as a launch. That's why he's alone. Just, just like that, yeah. it out in the air. And then, like, it was just such a weird fight. Like, she was just like, she just was kept on talking. Then she was like, "Aren't you his sister?" And it was just laughing all time. It was just weird. She, she was a weird person. Huh? You said she said grab the phone. Yeah. Answer that. Say grab the phone. Yeah, I grabbed it. Okay. When she was um, talking back, uh, while she was getting beat up, like. How that make you feel? With the stuff that she was saying. Like, I don't even care. She's angry. She's mad. Cause like, she was. Listen, I I don't get bothered by, by people who talk stuff. You gotta like really do something to me, you know. She was talking That's about your like, brother though, uh, and your she, sister. Yeah, but it was just like so, like you. So you weren't mad? You was just not a lot, just like whatever? Yeah, I, I can't be that mad now. Come on. She knew what it was. Every, you're going to talk regardless. It's a fight. What do you expect? So mm-hmm. I'm just like, uh, I've been in, I've been in multiple fights. They could fight what they brought. So you were just standing over them as they were fighting? Yeah, I'm just like, what the But then I walked away to Daniel. It was mad as hell. He, he, like I said, every time I... This is me getting a bit this period, he gets angry, you know, I don't got time for him. Yeah. But he was sleeping when the fight was happening outside, right? Because you said that she woke him up. Yes, yeah, she did. 
By she, you mean Ashley, right? Uh uh. Who who woke Daniel up? She did. Um. Who's she? Antonetta. Okay. So you guys were outside fighting. No. We woke him up when Ash when we knew Ashley was coming. And then we was like, yeah, like she's about to get beat the up. Cause now you getting kicked out. She thinks it's okay to come save you. Like, who is she? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I haven't been together for how long? Like that was weird. So yeah. Daniel, you're up. I used your phone to write her, and I recorded it. In the video recorded by Gonzalez, Stevens can be heard telling Daniel Gonzalez about what had just occurred outside. It appears that this is when he's woken up, just before Boca Negra follows them to the door. How did you guys? How did you guys find the messages again? His phone. Okay. Did you find it or did she find it? She found it. Antoinette. Mm-hmm. Okay. How did she like? Where were you at? Did you come? How did that happen? Um. She came to me. We were reading messages, and we were like, "Yeah, that's the girl." That's the we just saw yeah yeah did you guys text her Mm-mm. what do you mean did you guys send messages to her no we don't get her number no I mean from his phone oh from his phone mm-hmm. no I don't think so no okay mm-hmm. you sure repeat it oh from, from his phone a repeat when you repeat the question usually is an indication that someone is lying and then she was just like yeah I, I don't remember I don't think so yeah you know you did it you're just trying to pretend like you didn't yeah because you, you messed up your story a little bit I already read the messages you messed up a little bit what was the messages he wasn't getting kicked out um, yes he was mm -mm. I don't know <laughs> what the hell. I, I didn't. I only saw the messages where he was cheating. So I'm not sure if anybody texted her. Are you sure? You know? Yeah. So Antoinette just sent the message to her. I'm positive myself. myself. I'm positive. But yeah, I don't know if there's any messages sent to that lady. Because I, I can't say I didn't know if there's messages sent. Person you were with her when she was like, asked she have come. You were still with her when she was texting her. I know you guys were sending messages. She already told us you guys were texting her. Yeah, but I don't know what was said. So she like, was just texting her. That's why I said he was getting kicked out. I don't know what was said. So you didn't send the messages, she just sent the messages. Yeah, because I don't know what was said in those messages. But I know from seeing him arguing, he was getting kicked out. Okay, so you didn't see no messages, Antoinette just told you about it. And then no, when I, I texted saw... Her? I saw the messages where he was cheating. What did those say? Oh, I'm feeling you. I'm mm -hmm. falling for you, something like that. Hurting each other's messages. And that's when Antoinette showed those, she showed those to you, and that's when she started messaging her? Yeah, she showed those to me. Mm -hmm. And then she sent a message to her. Antoinette sent the message to Ashley? I don't know. Yeah, I guess. Did she tell you what she was sending? Did, like... The words and shit, no, I don't know what she said. You mean you had to know something, you knew she was outside. But I, yeah, I did know she was outside. Of course I knew she was outside, because if she about to go fight, I'm coming with her. But earlier in the day, she didn't know that she was walking into a fight. Hmm. Yeah. No, she's dead. I know that's crazy. Do you know how she died? Like she's smiling when talking about when she hears that she's dead, and even saying, "Do you know how she died?" She's still smiling about it. From the, fighting the injuries of her death. So they had like, to do an autopsy, but it was a it was a result of her uh, the injuries she sustained during the fight. Mm -hmm. Boca Negra's autopsy report shows that she sustained blunt force trauma to the head. She also suffered from hemorrhaging in the brain and the back. Her cause of death is listed as generalized trauma, which resulted in a rupture of the right adrenal gland, a gland that sits right above the kidney. Her manner of death? Homicide. It's crazy. How does it make you feel? This makes you feel like I'm going to hell. That I'm not going to lie. 
Yeah. Like that's really crazy. Life is crazy. Mhm. Yeah. And she's not a big girl. No, she isn't. That's why. That's why I don't want her. Bro. She she's too small. I said I I looked at her and I'm just like, how old are you? She told me she was thirty. I'm like you you're like you're really small for your age to be thirty. Like she looked sick, skinny. So I was cool. I was like nah. I, I heard she was pretty. Uh, I don't know. Damon saw it. He said, when I opened the door, I saw her. I was like, oh, and I slammed the door because she was so up. Yeah, he did do that. 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 He said he was shocked because how did she looked. I don't know because I really, I really didn't see her after that. Like, they had me sitting in the back because Damon was on my So... Let's take out that she was laughing because Daniel slammed the door on her because she looks so messed up from getting beat up. This man, so she comes, she's at the door and he slams it on her after his sister and girlfriend beat her up. What a prize. Oh, it was worth fighting with to, for this, this gem of a man. Detective Araya and Detective Carter already spoke with Daniel Gonzalez back at the apartment complex. While his fiance and sister were being escorted to the police headquarters, Daniel Gonzalez shared what he knew with investigators. Listen, we'll come back here and talk to you. I understand you got kids, but we'll just leave you here for now with your kids. Um, we're going to take her up and talk to her, and your sister's going to go. So just two um, cars, so one more car, that's it. And then we'll go from there, okay? Yes, sir. Um, how long do you live here? About like a year. About a year? Yeah. Um, do you know Ashley? Yes, sir. How do you know Ashley? I, I do not even have any emotional relationships. Okay. So, they had the altercation earlier this afternoon. Yes, sir. Okay, which you don't I know was, anything about? No, I was informed that while I was sleeping, she went in my phone, took my phone, and yes, she, she deleted the messages from not even online. She mm -hmm. gave me back my phone, and it was like, seemed like it was untouched. Yeah. She texted the woman and said, hey, she, she basically act like she was me. I know, I, she probably, I swear she probably still has the messages Ashley. So um, she texted me and she was like, she, well, she acted like she was me. And she said, hey, my wife kicked me. Um, she's not my wife, but she said that, I guess. That's what she said when it came out in love. So she kicked me out and come meet me. Uh, she used basically her, her, her emotional, the way she feels towards me yeah. to get her over here. And when she got her over here, she Hey, call. Go ahead and just take them over by your car. Gonna have just go ahead and take them over we're by your car, just, please. We are. Hold on a second. So then she came over, so she asked her to come over. She was pretending to be you. Yes, ma'am. And then what? She fought her. She had to because the way when I opened, I, I literally woke up and was like, oh, When you say she fought her, like, She had to fight who? her because they had to fight or get in the altercation because when, like, when I heard this, like, I literally woke up and I'm like, what the heck? And all I hear is them yelling when my sister and my sister and her. You know, I guess like hyped. Um, so like Ashley came here to your door because they took her phone. I guess like she had. They took her phone because I got to give it back. Then. Oh, they took her phone. Yes. And okay. Because she was gonna text. Um, I guess her man and like you know, mm -hmm. you know she was pretty. She was hurt. So, but she's not. I wake up and I'm like, I'm like, oh, there's knocking that door, but I hear bigger. So I'm like, yo, y'all don't hear this door? I'm like, what the heck? I open the door <laughs> and I just see that I just closed it immediately. Okay. How did she look when you when she opened the door? I don't know. Like, I'm not gonna lie. If she she looked up. Yeah. Okay. He tells detectives that although he is in a relationship with Stevens, he isn't interested in her. Their relationship had been falling apart for some time, leading up to the attack against Bocanegra, his new love interest. Did she talk to you about it afterwards? No, the only thing she said is, why would you do this to me? And I told her, like, we, we're not, like, the love, the love interest is gone, everything. Like, I told her this yesterday mm -hmm. when she saw me walking with the girl. Oh, that okay. Was, then I stopped her. I was like, you're not going to, you're not going to fight her because of what we're going through. It's not, it's not her fault, you know. Did she message yes, yes, Ashley she from your phone? Yes, and I'm pretty Pretending sure to be had, you? Yes. Daniel Gonzalez shows his phone to Detective Carter who begins reading the text messages Stevens allegedly sent. There's, there's about what happened to your sister kicked me in the back by my heart and chest. Yes, and I know she has heart problems. Like, this is like crazy to me. Like, 
Like, it's not like this is fresh. Like, I'm over here cheating on this woman. I'm not. I, we've been, like, this has been a toxic environment. And she's just been trying to figure out what to do. And I've been trying to figure out what to do. But but she doesn't want nobody to leave. Where you at? I need to see you. I'm in the bed. I want you here so bad. Daniel Gonzalez appears genuinely concerned about Boca Negra's well-being. He willingly gives his phone to investigators and consents to a download of his messages. Then, he asks how Ashley Bocanegra is doing. It appears he hadn't arrived home yet when the detectives broke the news of her death to Stevens and Gonzalez. Is she hurt? Oh, I see it. Like, real bad? So... Honestly, I'm, I'm not going to make a show. I'm not going to go and yell. I'm not, not going to go call her. I just, just want to know. Well... Oh. Yeah, we got a call from the hospital a little while ago, and she actually passed away from... Bro, injuries. stop playing with me, no, please. No, seriously. Please stop playing no. with me. Sure. Please sit stop down. playing sit with down. me, Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Please stop playing with me. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Breathe. Please stop playing with me, Matthew. Breathe, breathe. Look at me, look at me. Breathe. Always, always. Daniel Gonzalez, obviously distraught, leaves the walkway and enters his apartment. Detectives follow him. I felt the hole in my heart as soon as she left. That shit was crazy. One tragic and brutal murder. Three staggeringly different reactions from everyone inside the apartment that day. By the end of their interrogations, the women behind Ashley Bocanegra's violent death received identical charges. Robbery. Oh, no. <laughs> what? Robbery? Yeah. We didn't steal her phone. We took it so she could come to the house. Oh, you took it? Yeah, she you didn't got steal she it. got her phone back. Ah. I told you she wasn't leaving unless she got we gave her back her phone. We just did it so we could call her husband but we changed her mind. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah, for the day. She got her phone she, back. She she say it was okay for you to take it? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a robbery. Um oh. the other charge <laughs> okay. is uh murder. Murder? Yep. Yeah. You're being charged with murder. Me? Yep. Yeah. That's, 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 that's too deep. bad. That's deep, right? Yeah, that's that's f insane. Yeah. No, 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 no. What? Murder? I put his laid hands on her. All I done was pull her. Your brother said that the girl said that you kicked her in the head, the chest, the heart, or something like that. You were doing a lot to her. You were part of this entire thing. And she, she's literally shocked. Murder? I thought this would just be, what, what did she think this was going to be? She already knows the girl died. She's confessing to everything. And now it's murder. Well, no, that's too bad. What were you supposed to get? Uh, you know, a, a assault charge? Like, this is, I mean, I know this, this girl, this woman is 17, but I, something's really off with her mentally. She doesn't seem to grasp reality as the way it is. And she's laughing even when she heard robbery. <laughs> what, how do we rob her? <laughs> I didn't steal it. I just took it. Antonetta Stevens and Janine Gonzalez are both taken to the Gwinnett County Jail. While they're being booked, Daniel Gonzalez is at home with his three-year-old son. What did you do, Nick? What did you do what? That's all I want to do, Nick. Even if I'm not here. Okay, yes, definitely watch SpongeBob. Three young boys are now left without a mother to care for them. Antonetta Stevens and Janine Gonzalez are each currently serving 20 years for voluntary manslaughter and robbery by force at Arendelle State Prison. So they actually got their charge reduced to, you know, to a low, lesser charge. And they're supposed to serve 20 years. It's not federal. So federal, you have to serve 80%. This is a state. So they could possibly get out earlier on good behavior. I don't know what the terms are as far as that, or they have to serve the whole 20, but they could be out in probably 10 years or so. And they took this young mother's life. Now, you know, there's just a lot of get, ghetto chaos and drama, but she didn't deserve to have her life taken. And these two absolutely deserve jail. They may not have intended to kill her, and just because you don't intend to do something doesn't mean you won't be charged with doing it if it happens.
to take place. With that, guys, make sure you leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this story. Also, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. And check out the video that's on the screen right here. Another reaction I did to little Woody. And I will see you on the next one.